why is my door not closed? My son was in here two seconds ago. I'm like, close the door behind you. It's open. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so you're probably like looking at the title of this video and going, didn't she just post a rant a couple days ago about how Lovesick lost her order and it never showed up and yada yada? I certainly did. Um, and then it showed up. So, so I'm here, I wanna show you guys these pieces that I got from Lovesick. I, first of all, I completely understand this video is too late for you to buy anything. Um, Lovesick has shut down, it's no more. Um, I'm still very, very disappointed in the fact that I didn't get these pieces in time to show them to you in case you wanted to maybe go to the website and maybe pick some of them up if you like them, whatever. Um, I really wanted to haul this stuff when it was still relevant. However, that didn't happen because Lovesick did kind of lose my order. They shipped it to my house. I've mentioned in a previous video, it came here about three and a half weeks ago um, and they messed up my apartment number so it got shipped all the way back. Then I was waiting, waiting, waiting. I was on the phone with them forever and eventually they told me they would refund me. It turns out that they only ended up refunding um, the shipping cost to me, which was still, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I spent $48. To ship this stuff to Canada that's ridiculous like that alone is way too much so the fact that at least I got that back is good so I'm pleased with that I just still wanted to just show you guys the stuff that I got and um, who knows I mean they did say um, way back I mean there's rumors going around that they might come back they might reopen who knows um, but um, whether they do or not, I still just want to show you guys the pieces I got, show you, you know, how they fit, um, how they ended up working out for me. And so if you want to see that, then just stick around. Okay. Um, first, like, let's just talk about the bralettes first. So, um, so I'm wearing one of them that I got. I'll show you when I do the try on portion. Um, these are basically, I need to wear them over a strapless bra. There's no way around it. Um, this one Fits really good. I got this in a 3X. It's one of the high neck um, ones with like this like lace pattern. They also had it in a couple other colors that, I mean, even when I placed my order, which was like probably about six weeks ago now, they were already out of a lot of stuff. So um, they had different colors, but this black one was the one they had left. So I decided to get it in black. Um, I have another black high necked one that's got mesh up here. I'm sure you guys have seen that one before too. I wore it in a previous video. I can't find that one right now, so um, I'm not gonna show you that one. Um, they ended up sending me a free item when they lost my order originally, so that came before this stuff. So anyway, um, so I mean, the bralettes are really cute, like really, really cute. Um, I got this one, like I said, it, for myself, I, I can't wear them without a bra, like without a strapless bra or something underneath. It just, it just doesn't work. Um, I did actually, I'll show you this one. So this one was in this like really nice like bluish gray kind of color and this is the racerback and I got two of the racerback styles. So this I got in a 3X, fits perfectly. I should have gotten all of them in a 3X but I decided, I thought well maybe you know for the extra like um, chest coverage or whatever, I decided to go with a four in these ones. They're just too big. Um, they cover my chest really good but the straps and the back band, everything is just too big. Um, I need to just like, so I, sometimes I have to pick between whether or not I wanna fit my chest or if I wanna fit my arms and my back. And so this one is unlined. <laughs> when I wear when I wear braless, like, I know a lot of people say, okay, like I wanna wear these, I want, you know, I want the bralettes just for like lounging around the house and being comfortable and wearing a braless and everything, but the problem is like this, there's like, there's no support. And for myself, it's like, everyone's like, oh, it's so comfortable to just like wear a bralette and not wear a bra. I mean, I guess if you're smaller chested it is, but for myself, it's like, if I'm lounging around and just wearing a bralette like this, and like, I'm like lying around watching TV and I'm like lying on my side and like my boob falls out of my, how is that comfortable? Like, even if I'm all by myself, I don't want like, to be wearing something where I'm like, you know, constantly having to adjust or constantly having to, I mean, in that case, I may as well just not wear a bra at all. Um, so these I think are going to 
be crop tops for me. What I ended up doing in order to actually get the lift out of this thing, because these straps are so long on me, um, I actually am able with this one to crisscross them and wear them like this. And that actually kind of pulls them up a little bit. It kind of turns this area into like a bit of a keyhole kind of, um, and I don't really know how the back looks with it, but <laughs> um, at least, you know, it kind of like holds them in as opposed to just like, I mean, this thing fits like a tank top really on me. And so um, it's super cute and I, I, and I understand why so many people like them. I think that like if you're smaller chested, it, they're probably wonderful and really comfortable and lovely. So I'm not hating on them. I just need to, I'm, I just need to wear them differently. That's all. I have to either wear them with a bra, um, or, you know, crisscross them. I don't know. It's, it's, it's so awkward. I mean, I have a large chest, but I'm, I'm not very broad shouldered. I don't have a very wide back. Um, so it's difficult for me to actually find, I just probably should have sized down. On the other hand though, um, this one is unlined, as I mentioned, but this one that I got, it's the same like racer back style, this like really nice green color, but this one has a liner in it. And this one actually um, fits kind of, it fits tighter. It fits snugger on me. So um, I don't know if it's, like it didn't fit like the other one at all. So this one, I wonder if it was maybe like missized or something. Like maybe this is actually a three, I don't know. Um, but this one fits a lot better. Again, still, even though it's lined, I, I would never just wear it braless. I mean, maybe, I don't know. It, it all depends how this one works. I've only ever tried it on over my strapless bra and it looked really good and it fit really good. So I like this one a lot, um, as well as this one. I mean, it's super cute. Like I'm not, I'm not hating on them at all. I'm not, it's just that they just don't work for me the way that, you know, other people have said they do. Um, then I ended up getting this um, top. Like I said, I ordered this stuff like a long, long time ago. So I got this one in a two and it's just like this like baby doll style, but it's like super low cut. It's got cold shoulders and sleeves. I really like the pattern on it. Um, it's, it's really cute. The only thing is, like I said, I got it in a two and it fits perfectly, but the problem is, is it's just, just a touch too short on me. So it hits at a kind of a little bit of an awkward length. If it was, if I had got a three, it probably would have been totally fine. Um, the length anyway, but because it's also so low cut on me, um, and because of my chest, it's kind of like I have to wear, I don't know. Um, either like a v-neck bralette or something. I don't think it looks good with black though, so I wouldn't wear this with, I mean, I could wear it, um, but if I wanna wear this to work, I need to wear something underneath it. Um, so I tried kind of playing around with it. I kind of, I wore it with jeans, but because it hit at that awkward length, it's either like, it's either you tucked in, I like it, or it like hangs and covers like my whole stomach. I don't like that cut off in the middle kind of, I just think it cuts you off at an awkward length and just doesn't look very good. So, um, so yeah, that's this one. And I mean, but I still like it. I wore it to work the other day and I like it. I actually got a compliment on it. I mean, it is cute. So yeah. And then I decided I wanted to get one of these just cause they looked so like pretty on the models. These like long flowy, oh, it's where, what am I doing here? Like it's a long, kimono and this is like one size fits all kind of deal um and it's just like this really pretty pattern like I love the colors um it's like the little elephants on it and like all the different just like real like cute like boho vibe going on with this um it's super long um see these kind of kimonos look so good if you were if you're wearing like like a little like crop top and a pair of shorts or something, it would look so cute over it. But as I've mentioned before, I don't wear shorts. So the only thing that I can really envision myself wearing this with is a pair of really high-waisted jeans and maybe like one of these bralettes is like a crop top or something. Um, and I'm gonna see how that works. I know it's, it pulls like some of the same colors as these bralettes, especially I was thinking about the green one like it pulls, like there's green in this, so it would actually look really nice together. So I'm gonna try it on together with a pair of the jeans and see. Um, 
so it's kind of like one of those things where um, because in the summer I wear skirts so much and I wear um, long maxi skirts so much this is not the kind of thing that you can wear with something like that it just you basically look like a homeless person with all that flow and baggy and whatever so so this is gonna be a little tricky to style but it's really cute and I think I mean I can like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna try to make it work with the jeans um okay so now let's talk about the jeans um, I got three different pairs. I got them all in a size 24 and I've tried them all on so I know kind of how they work. So this pair is just a, like, I think, what was this one called? Um, skinny, I, this one was in the short, in, the, in a short length. So it's just, it's, there's no distressing on it. It's got like a little bit of the, like it's a darker wash. It got a little bit of the whiskering or whatever. And it's, skinny down to the ankle they're all skinny jeans well, meant to be skinny jeans you guys know my issues with skinny jeans um okay so I don't know if this is just the case once you get to sizes above like a 20 or a 22 or something but like I get it like it's skinny down here but then it kind of like like bulges out and why I don't know why it does that like it's kind of hard to well you can kind of see here but it kind of bulges out like as if you know you're meant to have this like massive like this material is so stretchy like why is it bulging out why is it not cut straight I mean it's gonna it's gonna stretch over your calf anyway and then you keep that skinny line because this is turning into like well this one's not that bad actually some like the other two are actually worse this one is this one this one is actually okay um but I don't know why they do that. This is a good length. Um, these were I got in sh the short length. Um, so it worked out. Actually, no. I'm, I'm lying to you guys right now. These are the ankle length. These are ankle jeans. That's what the difference is. So on me, they come right like a regular length on me. And they're okay. But again, I don't, I, like, I don't understand why they kind of like are narrow and then immediately like like I don't know I just feel like if they were cut a little straighter from the from from the leg opening you would get that smoother line on your calf because right now it's not quite doing that so these fit nice and high-waisted I wore them I wore these ones to work on casual Friday because I of course the other two have distressing so I can't do that but I actually wore these to work yesterday which was Friday um, and I wore them with a belt and they were pretty high waisted, which was nice. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm pleased with the fit for sure. Um, so these ones were in a curvy cut, um, size 24 again. And these ones are super, because of the curvy cut, these ones fit really, really well, super high waisted on me. Like just like the perfect fit, like from like the knee up these jeans are bomb like they fit so well so they've got a little bit of distressing so they've got the slit knee on these ones and I don't know if you can tell if it's doing the same thing but it's not quite as um, as tapered at the at the ankle so these are really really baggy on me down at the foot um, basically everything from the knee down on these just doesn't doesn't cut it so, and also the slash on the knee, because I am short, it's kind of a little bit below the knee. So it's not right in the right spot. Um, so I don't know, because they fit so well up here. I, I know I've said I don't wear shorts, but I don't know if maybe I would cut these and do something. Like maybe like, because I could do like a knee length short, possibly, uh, depending on how I could, and then maybe cuff it a little bit or something. I don't know I'm gonna have to really think about it with these because I just love how well they fit everywhere else and how high-waisted they are you'll see when I try them on they fit really good on the butt and the waist and everything so so yeah I'm gonna have to think about that with these ones um, and so these ones were the high-waisted these were I got in a short length again and these have tons of distressing so these ones and not in the back but these have like distressing like all the way down each leg um, these fit nice and high-waisted as well um, 
But these ones, I wonder if it's on these ones that you can see it's really extreme what they're doing. Because this is a short length again. But, okay, maybe not. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I just don't understand that big, like, bulge that's happening. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. I don't know if maybe I'm being a little extra picky just because I have so such trouble with jeans. Um, because I have seen so many people try lovesick jeans and absolutely swear by them and say they're like their holy grail you know plus size jean and I, I mean i'm not i'm not doubting that i believe that that is the case i just think for being short but even with the short length i find that they're they're still cutting the everything from like halfway up the calf on me just there's st it's still cutting too loose so so I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me go try everything on for you guys and uh, and show you how everything fits. Okay, here's the first bralette that I showed you at the beginning, the high-necked one. It's got that like really nice like lace pattern. Again, I'm wearing a strapless bra with it because there's nothing else I can do. But it works really well. It kind of reminds me of that, um, that bikini top I got from Torrid. Um, so that had that like that lace and that high neck um, and I mean I can pull it down all the way there so I mean I really I probably should have gotten a three in in all of them um, the back is like um, if you can see move my hair but it's like um, kind of like racer back sort of in the back and um, yeah it's really cute like I really like the I really like this one and I'll get good use out of it as something to wear over my strapless bras. <laughs> Not on its own. So, yeah. Alright, so here's that, the cold shoulder printed top. It fits really, really well everywhere. Um, like I said, it's really, like, plungy and low cut. So, I mean, if I were to wear this, um, you know, not to work, I could just wear, like, a like like a plunge bra or something and it would look really nice like that the only problem is is that like I said it hits like right at this like weird awkward length that's just like if it were just like an inch or two longer it would feel like more comfortable to just wear I mean it doesn't look bad at all I'm not saying it looks bad I just wish it was just a touch longer um the other option so these are the first these are the first pair of jeans that I I wear belted um you can kind of see um, that the ankle is still not really that skinny, um, but they fit really, really well everywhere. Um, I belt them just to keep them right at my waist where I need them. And then my other option that I was thinking with this top is if I were, since it's not long enough, I could kind of like half tuck it or something, and then it would kind of look cute like that as well. So, but I do really like the top, um, and, and yeah, I mean, the jeans, the jeans are good. I mean, I'm definitely going to wear them, but, um, but yeah, like I, as you can see, they're not quite, like they're still kind of bunchy. These are the ankle jeans, so I mean, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Jeans and me are just not, we just, we just don't get along. I don't get it just doesn't uh doesn't work but okay oh, wow. so here's like the grayish blue bralette as you can see it comes like super low um it's just too big and it just it's just way too much like again i'm wearing a strapless bra with it because there's no way i mean i'd be falling right out of this thing because it just it's just too big and um and these are the high-waisted um jeans with the three buttons they have the slit on the ankle um, I've cuffed the bottom of these ones because I just don't know what else I would do because as you can see um, the ankle is super baggy and I don't know if it's it because it's not it's not the right like it's just a regular length jean that could be what it is um, but as I said I mean I might just cuff them or I might cut them, but even like when I cuff them, because they're such a different, like you can see, they kind of don't even cuff properly because the, um, 
they they taper in so much at the bottom and then immediately like bulge out so they don't roll really well it's really weird um I'm just gonna cross this uh, like crisscross this thing and show you what that looks like yeah so that's how long the straps are I can actually like crisscross it and I still have enough down here <laughs> Um, I don't know what it looks like in the back though when I do that, so um, let's just take a look. But you see how it like it covers more of like my back when I do that. Um, maybe you guys can see. But um, yeah, I almost think I would wear this one like this again. Still not braless though because there's there's no way there's just no support in this thing at all so but it's cute like this and um I just need to figure out what I'm gonna do with these jeans because I have no clue okay so this is the green bralette honestly I I don't know I think it fits the same as the blue one I think I've just I slept in the blue one once or the bluish gray one and maybe it's stretched out a little bit and maybe that's why I was thinking it was a little bit bigger um but this one also is quite but I mean, like I said, with with the strapless bra, it works. Um, so yeah, I like it. And then that's the back. These are the distressed jeans. I've cuffed them like just once at the ankle. Um, and so they're not, they're, they're really not that bad. Um, the only thing you got to watch out for is this, the distressing right here comes like, like really really high so if you're wearing like I would suggest like wearing like nude colored panties with these because otherwise you might you might see it because like that's like my stomach so like it comes kind of high especially like because I like to wear them like super high-waisted um, but yeah I, I do like these ones um, again um, I've got like a good amount of extra like gaping going on back there so I do definitely need to wear a belt with these um but I do like them um the there's lots of distressing though so I mean it's kind of like kind of like a bulge note a little bit but I kind of like it like I think it's kind of cute so um so the only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't tried that kimono on with this so I think maybe I'll try it on with this outfit and see how that looks okay I mean, it's super cute. Like, I'm not, like, I just, I just don't know. Like, I just don't know if this actually works. Maybe it's because I'm short. Maybe because it hangs really long um, on me. But, I don't know. I'm just, like, I, I guess, I maybe, so maybe I just need to think about it. Like, I just need to, like... I think it's cute and definitely you need to wear something you know like really fitted or really like I don't know I wonder if I could tie it or something I don't know like it just is like there's there's like long slits up the side so I don't know I don't know I don't know if maybe this is just meant for someone who's like six feet tall because I feel like I'm like drowning in it a little bit but but it's cute I don't know if I like it any better like this <laughs> I just I don't know you guys like I really I want to like it so bad I really do because it's so pretty um I don't know you guys let me know what you think um or if you have ideas on how you think I could style this kimono, let me know because um, I definitely think it needs to be um, like it needs to be worn with something like what I'm wearing. Like it can't be worn with anything else because it's really it's just like a a shapeless tent basically. Um, so. I don't know I mean that's the thing though I mean if I wore it with like a crop top and jeans like this or like a bralette and jeans 
um, it gives me like that the coverage in the back so I don't really have to worry like if I feel like I'm like you know feeling too exposed or whatever um, it helps with that right because it gives you that coverage um, so I don't know okay so um, a couple glasses of wine later and um, I was editing this video and I was like fuck it and so I cut them <laughs> so these were the super high-waisted um, jeans that had the slit in the knee that I was mentioning that I thought I should cut into jean into shorts and so I did it so I don't know you guys let me know what you think um, but I kind of like them um, so I did throw my belt on just because I would always wear um, them with a belt just to keep them up high on my waist and um, and I kind of like them as like as shorts like I think I would probably actually wear them um, so I don't know you guys you guys tell me what you think it was kind of like an impulsive decision but I was like you know what why don't I just do it like I mean I have a lot of pairs of jeans I have a lot of pairs like I got the three pairs from lovesick and I mean I know that once I throw them in the wash that they'll fray up a little bit more at the at the seam so I think they're gonna look even better because I don't know if I would cuff them any higher than this I think I would leave them at this length but I think they'll look even better once they start to fray up a little bit more anyway um, I'm gonna have another glass of wine and um, and continue to contemplate my my decision but you guys you guys tell me what you think because I kind of okay, like you them, guys so. so that's it for my love sick haul I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave me a like comment subscribe and I will talk to you guys all again very very soon Okay, bye.